Hey guys, Nick here. So this is uh, part three of a uh, three-part mini-series on working with row IDs in NIME. So in the first two parts, we learned how to reset row IDs, as well as how to extract the row IDs to a new column. So in this third and final uh, part of the video series, we're going to learn how to take a column and how to use the column as the row IDs. So the data we're working with is right here. It's just randomly generated um, data where um, we've got clusters. The data is already clustered or has cluster uh, groupings. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this cluster membership, which is simply the cluster grouping plus um, the count, a unique count of um, the member in the cluster. So basically every row, every row ID or every cluster membership that we're going to push into the row ID column is unique. We won't get any errors for that. Um, but anyways, let's get started. We're going to take this and push it into the row IDs. So to do that, you're going to have to go over to your node repository and search row ID, just like I did over here. And we're going to take this row ID node, drag and drop it into our workflow and connect it to our data. And then we'll also annotate the node just so we know what the node is set up to do. All right, so now we can double click to configure. So in the previous two videos, we made use of the replace row ID functionality and then the append row ID functionality. Um, in this video, we're gonna go back to the replace row ID functionality. Um, and like in the first video where we said we wanna replace the row ID, um, we're going to keep that that option selected with the check mark but then now we're going to take it a step further and use the functionality of this new row id column option so in the first video we didn't adjust this we left it to none so that the row ids would get reset to the default scheme of row zero row one row two so on and so forth for this since we want to use an actual column as the new row id we're going to use this drop down to select the column that we want to take over the row ID section. So it's as simple as clicking on this cluster membership that we know has the new row IDs we want. So now what we're telling NIME is replace row ID with this selected column value and the column value is cluster membership. So now that we've got that set up, we can hit apply, hit OK. And now that we're configured, as you can see by the yellow status of the node, we can right click and execute. Now that we're executed, um, we can click in, right click and see the results of our data. So now you can see this cluster membership. If you look at the row ID, it matches exactly the row ID, right? So now we've taken, we've effectively taken our cluster membership column and we've used it as the row ID. Uh, in our data table. So it's as simple as that. Um, if you have any questions or any comments, um, drop a comment and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. If you have suggestions for new videos, let me know in the comment sections as well. That way I can put together videos that you guys will enjoy or find useful. Uh, if not, like always, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next video.